Hi friends. Today I want to show you my new pen storage. And actually while I'm here, I'm going to show you my desk. Um, and I just recently hung up that artwork by Jose Naranja and my pin board. So they were, they used to be on the floor because uh, I didn't have the correct frame or whatever. Uh, but now I feel like my space is all set up except for like, I have a few things I'm working on and it's just a little over the place, but I have new pen storage. And if you remember, I was struggling with my old, um, whatever I was using. So I'm going to show you what I was using before and then my end result. So let's take a look. And by the way, there's one of my puppies, that's Benito, and with his dirty turtle from Ikea. And there goes his other brother, that's Diego. They want to play right now, but we're not, we're not going to be playing yet. I'll play with them a little, in a little bit. So this is the storage that I was using um, before. This is actually a Goodwill find, and I think it was like $5. And it's pretty, like, big. Well, not, like, huge, but it was it was substantial, you know? Um, I'm sure it was for jewelry or whatever, but I thought I could put pens in here. So I was, I had pens in here. I think you saw me, like, um, grabbing a few of them before. They were all just, like, laying down. Um, and I still have a few little, like, stuff. Oh, like, uh, wax heels. And I think I have a little notepad here. And I do know for a, for a fact that I have pencils in here. So these were gifted to me and I just, I don't have a pencil place yet. But for now, they'll live there. And actually this may be a good like pencil storage. Cause I don't want to toss this out. It still looks very nice. Um, it's missing a little handle, but it's actually inside. I was able to salvage it. Uh, but yeah, so that was what I was using before. And I did like it, um, but it didn't have enough space for all of my pens. And you will see, like, I have quite a handful of them, and I just ran out of room really, really fast. So I'm going to show you, well, here, I'll walk you over. Excuse the mess. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> um, my partner had gifted me this uh, pen storage, like, two years ago, or almost three years ago. And it's from Amazon, and it's really nice. I actually just removed the pens in here, and I put them in my new storage. Um, and it, I think it fits two, four, six, eight, oh, yeah, ten pens. So my plan for this is to keep, like, my newest pens here. That way, like, I see them, and I'm like, okay, I need to, like, ink that pen up soon or next. Um, but yeah. And the other pen storage I was using was this big case that was gifted to me by uh, my friends in Mexico. They actually own a uh, like a pen case making shop and it's all made out of wood. Um, and they sent it to me all the way from Mexico and that was really, really nice. Um, but also I ran out of room immediately because I guess um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Each drawer, I think, fits about 12 pens. And, oops, oops right here. I don't wanna say hi. <laughs> Sorry. And I filled it up pretty, pretty fast. And then in transit, it got a little uh, damaged, but that's okay. Like, it was a nice little gift from them. And I appreciate it. Of course, I'm still gonna keep it. So, it's, this sits behind me. Uh, and it was pretty full of pens until very recently. So let me show you what I did. So, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sit down so I can show you. So this is, this is my desk. This is where I sit. Um, and so I have two Muji drawers. Each one is five, a five drawer. Uh, chest and the pen trays are from a different company called go pens and i think you have like four different colors they used to have five but they just 
one of them is not available anymore. So there's like red, green, gray, I believe black. They used to have a tan color, but they don't have it anymore. So anyway, they come in these large sheets and I'll pop a picture here so you can see how large they are. So what you have to do is cut the sheets in half, basically like, um, hmm. You have to cut, cut the sheets in half horizontally and then count 13 slots and then cut there because each drawer fits because each drawer fits 13 pens and then i had all these other like um scraps of that material so i was able to just like use them up and not have to cut more um sheets of the material so i bought a total of 10 uh but it took me four four of those trays to make like uh to make two four six eight to make ten drawers um and one of them like you can really if you want if you don't want to see this type of thing going on you can use up more but i was like i'm not gonna be wasteful i'm sure i'm gonna end up buying more of these drawers like eventually so i'll just keep those for that but yeah and this isn't ideal you know making making a a, a a pen drawer out of like four it just looks a little funky it's not my favorite but at least it's not like the first one you see and you know when i'm gonna be making videos my phone will be or my camera will be facing here so it's not like the first thing you see although these two do have that kind of thing going on but that's what i'm saying like you can make you can really stretch your material and make it work for you yes friends so yes friends for the most part i think i am pretty set on how i'm going to be organizing my pens um i'll take you through each drawer here in a second and i i still have a few like pens i want to showcase like this special like custom painted uh pen um and I think I'm just gonna keep it out because it looks pretty. And then I have these two pens uh, that are exclusive to Endless that I actually use quite a bit and they stay inked. Um, I have my parallel pens that I know will not fit in there or I haven't tried, but I just, I don't think they will fit in there. Uh, and then just pencils and stuff. Um, I do have a few pens here that I display because they look pretty. I like the colors of the Sean. Uh, this uh, new pocket pen. I have other pens that are currently inked that I'm using. Um, and then I have a few random pens. Like this is like a Jing Hao something. There was a knockoff of a Mont Blanc, but it's not working very well yet. So I need to clean that up. These two were gifted to me. So I don't want to put them away yet until I try them. Uh, this is a new pen. And I think Itoya Portfolio is the one who um, uh, provides or distributes this pen. So I still need to try it. And I have this new pen. Uh, it's a vintage pen. I still don't know a lot of information about who made it, but it's really cool. Uh, so um, I'm not one to immediately start playing with my pens, but with this one I did. Um, I think the nib needs a little bit of tuning, so I'll see if I can do a little bit of that or, or maybe I'll take it to a pen show so they can work on it. So I need to find a place for this pen. I don't think I have a vintage drawer yet, so I'll, I'll look, look into that here in a minute. Then I have this Meteor pen that is actually, this lives with my pocket journal, so I'll put that aside because, uh, yeah, that needs to go over there. These are two random pens that probably could go in one of those two cups uh this is currently ink this is a jason neal pen and this will go here eventually once i clean it oh, my puppies are seeing other pets outside this is a new pen that just came in like a few days ago hong dian um i bought it from etsy and i need to find a home for it and i think oh i and i have a pilot pen that i just cleaned it a few weeks ago but 
it's there's still some water in there and that's one of the issues with like cleaning a pilot a23 is that it can't really clean it very well so i don't know i i need to probably think of a an ink to f that will forever be in this pen and not worry about cleaning it often and also i think i want to get a nib grind on this because it's got a broad and it's kind of like too big for me i'm not a big fan of it it's just too it's not a very nice line in my opinion um, it's okay but it's just not my favorite so okay let's go into each drawer and i think we can probably start from the top so this drawer i dedicated to my small makers and so over here to the right i have some jason neal pens and this is where i said i'm gonna have this pen once i i clean it uh so that i don't put it away while it's still inked and i don't want any moldy pens <laughs> you probably saw from my past video uh and then i have two pishavin pens here those are the two i only have from here so far and then i have this pen from uh coxie pens and then i have one from heinz so I still have a little bit of room, like I think two more slots for small pen makers. Um, they could probably easily be more Jason Neal pens, honestly. Um, this other one is for more small pen makers. Uh, so this is a Sean, and this is where I will keep my small pocket pen, which is this guy. But since it's displayed, I just made a mental note that's there. That's a Gravitas. This is a little pen, little pen designs, I think. This I bought secondhand, and I'm not sure who the maker is. I'll have to research that. This is a Bone Crusher. These two are from Pen Dragon Pens Company in Texas. These three are River City pens. Uh, but actually, these two. So this is, these three are by River City Pens, uh, but these two were for Lucky Star Pens. Um, you know, there's so many like collaborations, which I love by the way. And actually this is also a Lucky Star Pens um, limited edition from um, Franklin Christoph. And yeah, I was able to buy this secondhand and I'm so happy because it's so lovely. And then since I'm moving into Franklin Christoph, here is a Franklin Christoph pencil. That's, I just had to have it. It's just pretty. And then here is my Franklin Christoph drawer. So this is pretty full already. And as you can see, I'm already going into my second drawer. Um, so I think I will have to dedicate a whole chest eventually, not anytime soon because I'm nowhere near a hundred pens of Franklin Christoph pens, but I think once you reach 49 Franklin Christophs, you get your 50th free. And also once you get to your 99th pen, you get your 100th pen for free. Of course you have to, they can't be like secondhand purchases. They have to be direct buys. Um, so I, I have a few secondhand purchases and I try to keep them limited, but if I know I missed out on like a nice pen, I'll, I'll buy it secondhand. Uh, well, these are my most recent purchases. Sorry, the camera is like not focusing. This is a 45 Cathedral. This is a 45 um, Candy Stone. 45 Olive. Olive or Olive A? I forget. This I bought secondhand. I'm not sure of what the material is, but as you can see, I'm a big fan of this material, which is why I had to get this guy. Uh, I'm just so obsessed with like the like the crackly material, and I actually, you know, like Estes. Some Estes have that. I'll get into that later, but yeah, I have two like that, and I have. I think I bought this secondhand as well. This yellow one super pretty i have this glass one so all of these are 45s i think this is a 46 blue something i forget the exact name um this one looks like it's a i think let me see 
uh, okay. No, this is just like a diamond cast. I thought it was a collaboration, but no. This is for a collaboration for Gourmet Pens, and I think it's got their logo here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. And I should probably put it aside. Um, this is another collaboration for Lucky Star Pens. Sorry, my puppies are like being wild. So this is another collaboration for Lucky Stars. And I said, so I should probably move that up, but then I need to move something down. Maybe I can move the pencil down. That's what I could do. This is super cool. This is a Panther, not a model I reach for or like look for, but the color com combinations were just so fun. I love primary colors. So I had to get that. That was an immediate like, I must. This is a, so I'm not gonna go through each <laughs> pen, um, but I was just so excited about my Frank Franklin Kristoff. So I forget which model this is, but this is also a candy stone. And this was also super pretty. So I had to get that. Okay, let's look. So these are random pens. Oh, okay, so these are Ranga. And then here I will probably have my Monteverde and Conklin pens. So I know I have a few out, like, like that one, for example. And at my desk, I have like a few others. So I'm pretty sure like this will fill up with Monteverde pens soon. Uh, Covecos and then Opus 88 pens, which I, you can see I have two there. And I think, do I have any more out? I don't think I do. So that should be all of them. So clearly I don't have room for any more. Um, and I actually have another Caveco out and I actually have that one. And I have another one behind me that I'm not sure I'll put out yet. And then, so these are like pens that I only have like one of or like brands that I only have one of. This is, what is this, Santini? That's a uh, Jovo pen holder, Conway. That's a vintage Schaefer, I believe. That's a Peniter Y Studio. This was a cheap little like Jing Hao or something. This is another Jing Hao, I believe. Um, this is Hello Tello, vintage. Ooh, that was Enigma, I believe, with little pens designs, Edison. So I have one more slot, but I only have one of each. One of, um, I guess I can move because I have another one of these pens here. But I don't have any more room, so that will probably stay there. These are Twispies, and I know I have another Twispy out behind me as well. These are Pelicans, and I think those are all my Pelicans that I have. Um... These are sailor pens, and I don't think I have any outside of here, so I have two more before I need to like probably buy another drawer because I don't want to put them anywhere else. These are okay. These are my twist. My sorry. These are my Estabrooks. So I have three of them. Laban. I have four. Three narwhals. This is a ooh fine writing and fine writing something. Sorry, I forget. This is another Jing Hao, and this is a Fountain Pen Revolution. And then down here, I have a lot of Lamis. So, Lamy, uh, Platinum, and Pilot. And I know I, I need another, like, Pilot slot. Um, so, I was thinking of taking out one of the Lamis and... Or two, two of them, because I actually, I have another Platinum that lives in here that I would probably eventually need a slot for. And then these are two ball points, so. But anyway, friends, this was really fun to set up. I was super excited. They look fantastic. I highly recommend putting like the clip and finial facing you. Um, that's just my opinion. You can definitely see the finial there. Uh, and yeah, it looks great. I'm glad I went with the red because it really, like, I, you know I love color clearly. So it just adds to to the vibe of my desk. Um, and I'm just really happy with it. It was super affordable. The drawer, the, the Muji drawers were like $35. The GoPen trays were expensive. But then also, I bought 10 of them. 
and they charge additional shipping with that so i think it was like 89 89 dollars for 10 of them so that's what i'm saying like get you if you only need four sorry if you only need two of these um chests then you only need four of the trays so you know you don't need to go crazy i <laughs> i bought 10 because i'm like okay well i have 10 uh drawers so i'm gonna buy one for each but then they're extra large sheets okay okay i went ahead and like took one out so i have six of these left so that's what i'm saying like these are huge and that's great like, i'm glad so what you have to do is like measure um the middle from top to bottom and cut cut halfway so that'll give you for one drawer and one drawer but then count 13 slots and cut there and that's what will fit in there so then you have these two pieces left that you can like um, put on top of each other and get a third one so when you cut three up that's when I, I think did I cut three yeah I think I did that's when I or four that's when I had enough to to make these these other ones so yes friends and this was super easy to cut with scissors and I just like marked it with like actually I think it was this pen right here um yeah so that was it friends um I just wanted to show you my new pen storage um I know my pen my sorry I know my desk is messy it's busy and that's what I why I needed to do this because it was just getting very chaotic and then I didn't know where my pens were I didn't like those two boxes were full of pens like just sailors like these sailors a lot of these were just boxed up i even forgot i had that one and that one so yeah super nice uh pen storage solution i highly recommend it if you if you go for it let me know i think these would look sharp also in the green um, material that they have but i just really love how the red pops it just looks so nice and it doesn't distract from the pens you know once you have all of them like like that it's not like you can really see the red but it looks nice anyway friends thank you so much for joining me again on another video i hope this was informative i hope you are inspired um let me know if you want to do something like this and if you need any help um, i'll put the links in the description um and thank you Thank you. Bye-bye.